Hey guys, and what is up, and welcome back to episode 2 of our lovely Minecraft hardcore playthrough. So, the, technically right now as it stands, we're at day 3. This is right after the other one. I currently have the other one doing what it needs to do, like, you know, going ahead and rendering and preparing the video intro, outro, all that. I just spent the time on that. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it here. As, uh... We, we've bred the cows a little bit more. I don't know if they're ready to breed again yet or not. Nope, not from the looks of it. Okay. But yeah, we've uh, we've been busy. Um, I went out and collected a few trees. I haven't done a whole lot yet. But I did notice that there is a wide open space. Like it's super open considering and I think it's on the other side of the village but I'm pretty sure it's over this way and uh well it's open it's flat and I think that is where we're gonna build our compound when the time comes <clears throat> yeah right over here see all that it's super it's super wide open a lot of room for expansion if need be and it the majority of it right here is just flat so yeah this is where we're going to be building our compound um so let's go ahead and get into just the basic parts of it by uh really just moving down to this house right here for now oh there's a book in here oh yeah i went and stole the bookshelves from all the villagers um because we need them right now. We really do. Okay, so let's remove that. Let's go like that. And let's make one, two. Oh, we can only make one. Okay, that's fine. Because I'll just add on to that one. Uh, we need to go and grab all of our cobble and stuff. So let's quickly go ahead and go like this. And like that. Let's go ahead and put everything up there right now. So quickly, let's grab our bread. Because that should be the only thing that we need right now as we head back to go get our uh to go get what we have left in there i'm gonna take down this because we're gonna kill off this cow and uh we're gonna build our own and i just heard a potion stand is that something that's new in this like i said it's gonna be a learning experience for both of us so let's go ahead Let's run back, because what we might do is we might start a new cow farm to make our life easier, you know, stuff like that. But now we're going to run all the way back. It's right here. We're going to come in here, open up our chest, take all of this out. And we're going to take it with us, including the chest. Take our crafting table. Well, we're not going to need the crafting table. We could technically just leave that in there. And I... <clears throat> this hurts my brain. Yeah, we're just going to start over because that is... There's an iron golem in there now, and I don't feel like dying. So I said, we chopped down quite a few trees, so there's definitely going to be a lot of logs laying everywhere. And at this point, it puts us down here where it'll be easier to uh, trade with the cleric and stuff like that. Um, definitely gonna need to drag some of the uh, villagers down to this end and like put some farms around so that way they do their farming. Wrong house. Wrong house, Jay. It's down here. But yeah, what I might do is just use this one and I don't know. I honestly don't know what I want to do. Uh, what I do know, though, is that can go right there. We can reset our spawn point there, even though if we die once, that's game over. That's zip zero nada, nothing I can do about it. If we die, we die. Okay, so now let's grab this. And where are our sticks? I don't think I threw them up there. Yes, I did. They're right here. Let's go ahead and craft a shovel. Go and put the iron away. Why did I? Why do I only have three bread? I know I have more than that. Okay, put the three back up there. 
Good news is, what in the world are you doing all the way over there, my man? Are you big time dumb? Oh, you don't have a profession yet. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, now that we're right here, uh, we can go ahead and start collecting some stuff to uh, either trade or do something with. Uh, we need more iron because all we're missing is a helmet and pants. Even though these boots are going to break, so we might as well get enough for some more boots. We do have full iron tools, however, it would be nice to uh, get a little bit more. So we're definitely going to keep an eye out for that. But I think today what we're going to be doing, uh, well for this episode at least, is we're going to be vibing out, you know, having a little bit of fun. Um, maybe my, now that I have a shield and I feel just a little bit better about it, there is a possibility we could go mining. Uh, just because now I feel a little bit safer when it comes to fighting mobs. That was a dud. A dud of a cave. It really was. That was dumb. I don't know why I even trusted it. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about raids. Like, raids... <clears throat> I haven't put too much thought into them yet. Let's see if we can't find a cave here. That one's with water, so that one's definitely not a... That one's definitely not a green light go. There's a lot of coal up here, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to need to be heading back soon, but we have enough time to come up here and kill the cows. Oh. Why are you so hard to catch when you guys are outside of an enclosure, but when you guys are inside of an enclosure, you guys are so easy to kill. And there goes my world, it's lagging. I hate that. I hate it so much when it does that. But yeah, we're going to be heading back now. And uh, once we sleep, it'll be day four. <clears throat> This should be fun. So, I've been thinking about maybe doing a little bit of like a modded pack. Like maybe, um, there, there's one out there that I want to give a try, which is Feed the Beast Academy. Definitely want to give that one a try. No, screw you, dude. This is my bed now. <laughs> I think I have to be fighting over a bed. You know, you have a house right down there. And you don't even have a profession. What are you doing in my home? Go away. Oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do here. So, instead of building a quarry, we're just going to go like this. Also, guys, I've been thinking about doing some Minecraft VR gameplay. But I, I tried it and I got really, really motion sick. And that's the first game that I've played that's done that to me. <clears throat> like the first VR. So I don't know how I feel about it. But yeah, that's what that's going to be. But we're quickly going to run over here. Now let me finish my train of thought. Come on, Jay. Stick on one train of thought, please. That's what everybody always thinks. Like, come on. I got to get better at this. One thought at a time. There's a lot of duds. I don't like that. I know we have that one that we can go back to from last episode, but I'm not comfortable with it. Mainly because I'm a chicken. Ha ha! Knowing my dumb butt, I must fall in onto the one part that doesn't have water. Hey it! Ta da!
possum. We actually made it and we didn't die. I'm proud of us, guys. We did it. We're not dead. Yet. Keyword there, guys. Yet. Then we go like this. And we go like this. Bloop. And then we come over here. Now we go like this. Ta da! Now we have time to just collect some stuff. Definitely gonna need more coal because that was a part of the problem I was running into with my other playthrough is I didn't have enough coal at all. First, let's go ahead and let's get some iron. <clears throat> We're also probably going to be going into the nether a lot sooner because when we spawned in, I saw something that I really liked. I was just sitting there and because I've been practicing for like speedruns and stuff, I know like a trick that I've been using on everybody else's realms and stuff whenever we, re we restart a season for it. I, I haven't been posting any of that footage because I haven't really gotten a bunch of footage on it. Uh, we're all super busy most of the time. Uh, recording schedules don't match up, so it's not a lot of fun when you don't have everybody else that's supposed to be a part of it. Do, 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 do. Main reason I jumped on here is because I seen a lot of iron. Haha, -ha, more iron. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry, guys. Bloop. Hey, more iron. How much iron do we have? 35. Okay, so more or less is going to be us achievement hunting and stuff like that in this one. Like in this portion of this uh, hardcore world is we're going to be trying to last as long as we can and see if we can't beat the game with every achievement. Uh, Quite frankly, I know I'm going to die. So raids and some totems of undying. <clears throat> I'm going to be extremely helpful. I don't know exactly how they work. Because like I said, I haven't really messed with that type of stuff. I haven't really messed with anything since before the pillagers were added in. So the odds of me knowing what to do with pillagers. That's... A big maybe. That's some pro strats right here. <laughs> Use that so I can get up. And now I do believe we just go straight back this way. Yep, because there's a village. Awesome. We got 39 pieces of iron. Ow. So that should do us a little bit of good. And we're only at 14 minutes. And we don't have a gold helmet yet. So I don't think we're going to be doing anything fancy like that. And it's only high noon as well. That's amazing. Uh, we might need to stay out once we have full iron just for a little bit just to make sure that we can you know go ahead and get some other stuff going here uh, let's grab this out and let's come over here to the crafting table let's make one of these and then in turn make one of these only because from what I understand it just does better with uh, cooking all your or cooking all your food let's go and grab out all of that and throw it in there um let's throw one two three 
in there because then I, if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now, then please be my guest, ask, but you guys are going to figure it out really quickly whenever I actually do it. <clears throat> so there's one, two, wait for the next one, and then... Three. <clears throat> okay, so now we're just waiting on that one to finish out, and then we're going to throw our iron in there just enough I do believe it's like three on the bottom one two three four five six do you believe it's only five though so so right now all we're doing is waiting so while we're waiting for that to smelt up and be ready to go I will be right back Alrighty guys, so we are back with it, and there it is. Bam. Yeah boy, got the blast furnace already. Throw all of that in there, and now watch this. Done. <laughs> That's all gonna be super great. So, like I'm saying, I, I wanna know what you guys think whenever it comes to like modded Minecraft, what mods you guys wanna see, what mods you don't really care to see me playing, so... All of this is smelting. So while all that is doing that, we have one piece of leather right in, Well, we have 17 pieces of leather right now. So let's go see if we can't find some more cows. No, in all reality, we should go be getting some trees because I feel like if by episode three, we should have our base starter house ready to go. Of course I choose to leave my house as it's almost nighttime. And since we don't have a full set just yet. <clears throat> I'm currently grabbing wood because I'd love to get down and find some diamandes. and uh, get some enchanting going up in here. I'm gonna stay out as long as I can here, just mining all of this up. Then we're gonna run straight back across the field and go to sleep. No reality, I should stay up and maybe get uh, maybe get a few spiders to uh, spawn so we can get some of those going. So let's go ahead and stay up. Uh, while we're doing that, we can honestly just make... Uh, dude. Make a helmet. Make some pants. See if we can spot any of those signature red eyes. That's a skill of bones. That's a skill of bones. Red eyes. Next to a skill of bones. So let's see if we can trigger the spider without triggering. There it is. We triggered him without triggering uh, anything else other than the zombies. And you didn't even give me what I was looking for. Wow. Ooh, that's a green, uh, that's a green bean, that's a green bean, that's a green bean, that's a green bean. Nope. Uh-uh. Make our two buckets here. Let's go ahead and put all of this away. Okay. 
give it a few seconds here. Alrighty guys, as soon as I have some string, I will be right back. Alrighty guys, we are back and we are going to bed. Uh, so that was definitely a new experience for me. I've never been so scared of the nighttime. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually honestly scared. Uh, we ended up fighting more than what I wanted to. So I was definitely not too fond of that. Uh, we used up a good percentage. I mean, anytime there was a creeper, I just ran back to the water because I, I'm pretty sure the iron golem died. Yeah, he did. Sad days. And now because that's a creeper, if we get him to follow us and we go to the water... See, this is why I wish I had, like, you know, something to keep me safe when it came to, like, the water. Well, I mean, creepers. Like, I had some sort of... Ta-da! So we're going to deal with all the creepers. <laughs> Just lead them back to the water. Problem solved. Can't be hurt if you can't uh, blow up. Ta -da. Like I'm, I can, I can fight them. That's the problem. That's what irritates me. Is I know I can fight them. Just not in tall grass, preferably, because that's gonna mess up my hits. Now if we go like that, one, two, three, and four. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho ho. Kill the pig for good measure. All right, so now that we have all of the creepers cleared out, uh, I kind of want to try my luck on fishing, so we'll give that a shot. Let's see what we get. I'm pretty sure we are, we're going to get just absolute trash. Better we're not going to get anything at all, apparently. How long do I have to sit here for? There it is. We got a tropical fish. Wait, have you finally taken up a trade? Oh, you did! You took up the trade as a butcher. Okay, well, let's quickly go kill some more, uh, some more pigs. Um, I didn't think that me placing that down would get him to, uh, take up that trade. But, I'm glad we've learned something today. We can get another emerald. There is 11. If we get 14, we can get two emeralds from him. There we go. I think next episode, uh, before next episode or next episode, uh, we're going to be going ahead and uh, probably, like, maybe taking a villager and shoving them and forcing them somewhere. Which they probably won't want to go. Awesome. We got some more emeralds. We've got 18 rotten flesh, which means if we run across a cleric, we should have quite a bit of stuff that he likes. 
But I think how we're gonna end this out here is uh, I'm gonna come out here with my lovely two buckets. We're gonna go one, two. Now, if I'm correct, if I run right over here or somewhere in here, where did we spawn? Did we spawn over here? Because I know I heard it and I know I saw it. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are absolute geniuses. Maybe it didn't spawn this time. I know my first time doing this it did. Unless it's over on this side of the village. Which is perfectly possible. But the odds of that are super low. But now we actually have a reason to kill pigs whenever we see them. I don't think it worked this time. Like last time we spawned and there was uh, there was lava. Just waiting. But I think I don't think that it worked this time. I can hear the birds. It's peaceful, but at the same time, it's annoying. You can hear the birds outside of my apartment. But since that plan isn't going to work, we'll just go around killing some pigs. And we'll come over here and see our iron golem. Or the other. Oh, another one already spawned. That is dope. So now we're just going to break this, let all the cows out. Come over here and grab this. And we're only going to leave two cows. Make sure any and all villagers are out of range of my swing. And now we're going to lead these two lovely dudes. Over to their new home. Make sure we don't get too far ahead of them. You idiots. For now, just until we can get a good place set up for them, they can all vibe in there. Alright, any of you, you're a librarian, you're a cleric. Okay, so you're a decent cleric. You're a cleric, you have 32, you won 32. Okay, so you guys are all decent trades, more or less. But now with this, we can go like this too. Start clearing out the ways for our compound. Break all the little in between ones. So I might come up with a base design while we're off camera.
but that is going to do it for this one guys i hope you guys are enjoying the series so far i'm gonna go ahead and uh work on the outline of the base just a little bit more uh so probably gonna dig that mine that i have right behind the fisher's hut all the way down to y11 and uh i'll be back whenever we have a basis for our house and stuff see you then